Okay, we're going to put our brace up there to keep this thing from folding up on us. But one thing I wanted to show you, you want to use deck screws. You can see how much thicker they are than just regular 3-inch screws. And then, of course, these thinner just trim screws. So you want to make sure you use a real thick screw. Even something like this one's even just as good. Because you don't want to take a chance of these things giving away. Okay, in a brace to hold up the attic stair, we need some long ones so that we can let the brace, you know, long enough screws so we can adjust the brace up or down in case we need to go one way or the other as far as the way it needs to be set for the trim to work. See, we have one of the screws that's in halfway and the other ones run all the way up. That's just a little bit of our safety feature. So when we start adjusting that smaller screw up and down, we know we can't go down any farther than our screw that's stuck down the farthest. Okay, I'm fixing to cut this out and get this thing out of here. Oh wait a minute, first I need to I need to take off the, the bottom part of the ladder. All right, we're ready to stick it in the hole. We got our we got our things wired up so the ladder won't close on us. Now we need to go over that. You want me to go up? Nope. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now. Look at that thing and see if you can find me a couple of long screws right here, Joey. Look at that little plastic. Want me to go back to the storage room there? Eh? No. All right. We got a couple of screws in that end. And then you saw me fighting this end with a couple of screws, so we got it. So we need to get this end set. I need to go get two more longer screws. Yeah. I thought. Okay, we got a couple of more. Here at our far end now, I need to put a couple of more screws up there at the ladder end. Well, since I bought a ladder too long, I measured inside the house and it was nine feet. I come out here and the, the ceiling out here on the porch is eight feet, so I need to cut a couple of feet off this thing. Looks like we may have to cut another couple of inches off of there, but oh, they're all, we're set. You see this corner? We've got a little bit of the frame showing over here. Okay, we come across here. Over here, we've got no frame showing. So this door is going to have to kind of go a little bit that way. So what we do is we adjust the two screws at the front. We will pull this one, this side up there, will tighten that screw up, and that will pull this side over. None? Right. Okay. Now look on this side. See, there was just nothing here, and now there's a lot. You got the, the wood, yeah. Yeah, so now we need to go back the other way. 
with the whole thing. Right. Okay. Does it look the same or? The, uh, the other side looks pretty even all the way. Okay, then that's what we want. Now we got our same. Do you need a nail gun? trim on both sides. I gotta go get the compressor and a nail gun and all that stuff. Compressor. Okay, now I gotta go up there and put all the final screws in. Quarter inch lags. You always wanna make sure they go in. Don't leave the deck screws in there. They're just strictly for temporary, just to get this thing adjusted. We got the thing adjusted, and so we're now we're ready to go. Good job, Lee.